Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and we are back with a Master Lost Sector difficulty today. And this is one I think all of you should be able to do. It just takes a little bit of patience. The boss can go down very quickly, so let's talk about it. You got Barrier and Overload, this is all Vex. Burn is Arc, you're going to want to take advantage of that. Shields that you need to kill are Arc, we'll cover that one fairly easily. And there are two Void Shields, honestly that's just a couple grenades or a little patience and you're good. So I'm running a Void sub subclass as a backup, but honestly, I'll show you guys how you can kill the couple of Minotaurs. Honestly, with just literally anything, and you won't, could honestly run an Arc subclass in here as well, if you're willing to kind of do the backup move. I don't run exotics. I tend not to cast my super in these things, so if you guys have a certain subclass you want to use, you have an exotic you want to use, like Trinity Ghoul, Hard Light, both would be great in here, honestly. Um, when Arbalest actually gets its intrinsic barrier functionality in about a week from when I'm recording this video, that would be a really perfect thing to throw on instead of an instead of an auto rifle because those barrier champions would be perfect to take down with that. Um, but as of today, which is December 1st, uh, running an auto rifle for barrier, I have osmosis on it. So if I do want to kind of use that, I can. It's honestly not a bad idea if you want to get one or two weapons that have osmosis on it a couple places in case you do ever need it for random things like this. There's not a lot of other places for it, but if you, ever, if you had a bigger split in the amount of void enemies, it would probably be better to have. But just honestly, an auto rifle for the few barrier champions to make sure and handle those. This is my main functionality here is my wolf tone draw. It's going to be my bow for overload. It's also going to be my arc um, shield breaking thing because there's a ton of harpies with arc shields. Also, you get to take advantage of the burn here. And the biggest thing... Article deconstruction this season. Make sure you're using it. Go find a tarantula. It's going to be your optimal way to do this one for arc damage. If you don't have something here, any any arc heavy is still going to be beneficial here to get that big bonus chunk of damage. Uh, other than that, just make sure you got your, you know, if you got linear fusion reserves, just kind of boosting up my heavy there. Make sure you got your stats on and particle deconstruction. That's kind of a must. And then protective light. Taking charge, shield break charge, pretty basic stuff. Overall, this one's not too bad, so let's jump in. I'll show you guys how it works. All right, so first thing you got is one Hydra and then quite a few of these Harpies. So just grab your bow, start shooting the Harpies. The Hydra will kind of show up not too far away. So for now, I'm just kind of breaking the shields. If you break enough of the shields on these Harpies, you will send the Harpy to the back of the room and we'll finish it fairly easily. Particle deconstruction actually will let me kill it in here if I can hit my shots correctly. I don't always get that one, but don't go any farther than right about here. Basically, just don't go to the stairs. And all we're trying to do is wait for the Harp Hydra to turn around, show it's our face. And then when it does, if you can do one, two, three, you can actually kill it. If you don't kill it, you're just going to kill it in a future room. But if you kill it here, great. I'm just going to grab an orb, but I'm going to pull back. Don't go past this big giant box here because we're going to have a lot more Hydras and we're going to have one Minotaur spawn. I'm going to use that Minotaur to show you guys how you can just kill, basically break the shields even though match game is on. You can still just break the shields with this bow. Any bow will do, but it's just that void damage on a, or burn damage, I should say, on a bow will still do enough. So right here, if I don't miss all of my shots, I can usually get enough damage if I'm patient about it. And if he doesn't start shooting, if he starts shooting, it gets to be a little dicier. But even here, as you guys can see, just keep the damage on him. If you would not teleport, that'd be great. And even there, technically didn't need my grenade. So that would basically alleviate that spot. You have one more Minotaur just like that. If you want the grenade, make life easy. Just, you know, try and time the grenade and teleporting type stuff. Other than that, if you want to go full arc in here, want to run something like, you know, Thunder Crash or Chaos Reach, you can burn a lot of stuff down in here very quickly. I didn't actually mean to shoot him first. Watch the snipers in the back. If you can take those out, that's probably an optimal direction. I've got harpies in my way right now. And last harpy. Make sure you're reloaded on your heavy just in case it comes time for you to use that on a champion. I'm going to stun him real quick just so I can get a good position. <clears throat> I like to be a little closer than I am right now. So I'm going to let him pull back to me. He will typically run and charge at you if you can kind of annoy him a little bit. I like to get a little closer, save a little bit of ammo. <clears throat> Always got to watch those teleports in just one, two, three crits to the stomach and you're good. That way I actually did get some heavy to drop so I can be a little more liberal in my use there. Probably the two most annoying guys in this entire thing, they're going to be the wyverns. So if you do have a super, I would honestly use them on those. Everything else is a lot more manageable. The wyverns are just honestly frustrating. There's a little more heavy ammo. Oh wait. Wyverns never show their crit spot until much, much later, so once again, a very annoying thing. 
There's an Overload Champion that's going to show his face here anytime, honestly. Very soon. <laughs> Clear out those Fanatics. Overload Champion should be Mosian. Be ready. Get this shot. One, two, and three. And he's done. You are done with Overloads at this point. There are no more. Apparently, I'm swimming in Heavy, but I've got, like, double Heavy mods on everything. Go to about here. You guys see how you got, like, a hole, one big cylinder on the wall, two? Go to about here. You're going to see quite a bit of stuff spawn. You can pull back, especially if you're trying to go for a flawless in here. That's the safer way to do this. Um, at this point, you're going to see some barrier champions. We're also going to see our Minotaur. And again, this is the way. Like, wait for him to teleport. Usually will. Or just throw the grenade on him. And then just finish him up. Like, whether you do the grenade way, whether you kind of backpedal and kite him, Either way works, but yeah, if you have a Void Grenade, you'll make that a lot easier. So now, got a couple goblins, need to turn them around. And we're going to deal with one of the Barrier Champions if we can, but not both. So make sure you're reloaded so you're ready for the Heavy. And if you can time this, there's usually one up there and one over there. Sometimes they'll go moseying around so you might see both. But if you can do enough damage, basically get him through about a sixth of his health bar, you're going to see him pop the shield. Pop it quick. And then couple three on the stomach. And then go hide. So if you're going for flawless again, go hide. Wyvern, not my friend. I hate these guys. Because you cannot get a crit spot on them. And they're void, so in here the void burn really stings a lot. And you just cannot get that crit spot to show and their shots hurt. Now, the thing to know about a wyvern, at about there, there's a point where you get them to about half health. And it only shows for about a frame. It does the little, like, finishing coloring to them it's that like almost like off-white flash and if you get them to that point you can just finish them right here at about half health but if you get them to about half health they're manageable but you got to be safe when you try and approach them because those void shots they're gonna hurt they are really gonna sting quite a bit you got one more coming up again if you can use a super to knock them both out that would probably be optimal looking for using this stuff as cover just in case because we're not done yep everything else seems to be stuck in the back now, if I can get a crit on his back, I will absolutely, but I'm not going to get a chance, so that's a bummer. Going to throw that grenade, see if I can get some damage on him up there, maybe take out some of the other adds. Now, I can probably finish it. That was the little shot right there. That was actually the little um, flash that I saw on his body that was going to count for him to be able to be finished. I need him to hop down. There we go. I did not want the barrier to hop down, but got to work with what you can. Same thing here. Take advantage of the shots that you get. Trying to be aware of that wyvern up there. He nearly got me, actually. Detective light, probably a helpful bit. Now I can finish this wyvern if I can just get up here close enough. So just try and use your cover. Get near him. Finish him. Once you kind of cross this, th this threshold after all the enemies are dead, you're going to get everything to spawn. More arc shields, so you've let everything spawn. Give it a second, come back here to the stairs. The boss's arc shouldn't tag you. And then you'll notice, use that harpy shield break to kind of get that nice chain reaction moseying around. Now you get some more shield breaks, so you'll get charged with light again, which will help you a little bit if you need it. Do enough damage to the boss, and you're going to get a couple of barrier champions to spawn. Really simple, though. Honestly, just got to find big guy. Hit him in the stomach, and he's going to go down faster than pretty much anything in this room, honestly. I'm going to do enough damage to basically pull back. You can kill him. Barriers will still be there, so not much you have to worry about there. But again, the boss is just an annoying piece to deal with right now because he's just constantly peppering those shots, especially when you start hitting heavy damage. So if you can get that crit on him, take him out. He's out of the way. He's got less stuff because he's void that's coming at you. Now, the barriers will be void, but he is just going to be a really annoying part. Now... If you want to do manage these two barrier champions in a somewhat reasonable fashion, do what I'm doing and come over here. You're going to have a few adds that kind of mosey. Clear out a couple of the mid ones. You just don't want to kill everything before you get to the champions. Because if they go back to the middle, then you got to deal with them both together. And that just gets to be really annoying. One. That was not crit. There we go. Wasted a little ammo there, but that's okay. You're doing double primary, so all your, all your mods can go for your heavy. And again, same thing. About three bow shots from my bow will typically cause him to proc his shield. 
He proc it a little earlier due to that explosion. Not what I was going for there. Same thing, just light him up. But it's always about a sixth of his health is when you're going to see him pop that shield right now. So if you learn that timing, you know exactly when to get that shot off and switch. And they're pretty easy. There you go. Eight minutes. Master Law Sector. Uh, had a couple close calls, but if you're not going for Flawless, not the end of the world. Plenty of time. And hey, there's an exotic as well. Proof, we got our Platinum. Doesn't show the Platinum at the bottom every time, but that is Platinum. So back outside, we'll wrap it up. Outside of the guy dancing right here, as you guys can tell, it's really not that bad. Barrier manageable uh, linear fusions make this stuff pretty easy you only have those two void shields on those minotaurs so if you want to bring void grenades make your life a little easier that's fine if you can kite those enemies break their shield with kind of your bow whatever you want to use you can work them down and then just kind of get a chunk into them and finish them either way very manageable on legend it's even easier but master is still a very manageable lost sector done in about eight minutes if you're sitting here farming master should have a higher drop for you guys so if you're looking for legs uh, today or whenever you find this in the future, whatever exotic is up. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please drop a like below. Leave a comment if there's any loadouts, exotics, or anything like that. As I said, there's plenty of things I don't use because I don't use exotics or supers in my runs. So you guys can choose to use the one that's, that you find beneficial. But if you did enjoy this one, as I said, um, drop a like. But you guys can find me on Twitter, at Ebontis, Twitch streaming, Ebontis, and then right here on YouTube. If you haven't subbed yet, which I know a lot of you have not, Please drop that sub on the channel and also hit that alert bell to help my future videos make it to you. 30th anniversary is coming up, so lots of content coming for you guys next week. And if you guys want to support me directly, you can join the channel as a member after you subscribe, which is uh, some of you guys have. Thank you very much. And then, of course, Patreon is down below in the description as well. Thank you. Have a good one.